Will you just give him a moment of your personal praise? Will you just... Thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Hey, Frida, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. You know, sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot with God. Like we put a whole lot into it, but it doesn't take a whole, like it doesn't take a whole lot with God. We put a lot into it. And there's just a place in which we just have to get into the purity of God. Like we get into the purity. We stay in a pure place before him. We stay anchored in him. We get anchored in truth and the more revelation we get in his word and the more truth we get it just pulls us into a very pure place with God if we will allow it yeah Vanessa Holy Spirit we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you just a very pure place just that's when we're in rhythm that's when we're in sync that's when we get in tuned to who God is and what God is saying and what God expects of us and we find out how much God loves us and we learn to lean not into our own understanding and in all our ways we get into a position and place where we learn to acknowledge God in absolutely everything and so there's a pure place that you want to reach there's a pure place that you should be asking for there's a pure place in which you and the Holy Spirit will intersect and you will find yourself in the rhythm of God. But I'm going to be honest with you. It won't come without seeking. It won't come without searching. It won't come without hunger. It won't come without thirst. And so you have to begin to hunger and thirst for his righteousness. Like never ever before. You got to desire God be above anything else. And I'm not just saying this. I'm saying in thought and deed and action. You're going to have to leave some self yourself behind. You're going to have to empty yourself out. You're going to have to find yourself in a position where you're constantly saying, you know what, God, more of you and less of me, like more of you and less of me. You're going to have to become anchored in his word. You're going to have to change some of your relationships. You, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You're going to have to make a firm decision, God, that I want you more than Anything else, I want you more than to be right. I want you more than to be popular. Like, I want you more than anything else. I want you more, Lord God. I want you to sanctify me. I want you to pull me apart. You're going to have to give God permission to dig into the deep places and make a decision. You know what, God? I don't want to be patched anymore. I need a healing, right? I need a restoration. I do not want to be patched anymore. I don't want to be patched. I don't want to be in a circumstance or a situation where you're just patching me. I don't want to just feel good for just the second or the moment. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want a quick fix. I'm tired of quick fi fixes. They don't last long. Like they don't last long. I don't want that anymore. I don't want a quick fix. 
I want to come into the more of you. I want all of you. I've been thirsting and longing for something. Come on now. And even though I fell into a thirst trap, I know now that what I really was desiring and what I really needed and what I was really longing for was more of you. So daddy, I need you to fill me up and I need you to fill up my cup and I need you to take me away from all this madness and all these things that I've created and all this mess that I've had going on. I need more than this temporary stuff, this stuff that will fade away, this stuff that wasn't meant to last, these relationships that were not meant to last. I need more. 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 I hear you. I hear you in your spirit saying, Lord, I need more. 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 And if you'll just cry that that out to him, he'll do it. God, I need more of you. Like I need more of you and less of me. I'm tired of running in circles. I'm tired of repeating phases and being back in the same place. I'm tired of being back at day one. I don't want to be there anymore. I want to overcome. And the only way that I'm going to overcome is that I get more of you and way less of me. Like way, 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 way. No, no more emotional fixes. Come on, Holy Spirit. No more emotional fixes. No more for so, no more like no more of things that just make me feel good in the moment. I don't want to feel good in just the moment. The moment isn't good enough. I don't want to get off the devotional and be back in the same state of depression and be back in the same state of anxiety and be back in the same state of worry and be back in the same state of concern and be back in the same state of gossip and be back in the same state of lust and be back in the same state and I ain't got no power. I don't want to be in the same place, in the same state, doing the same thing. I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I wanna walk in victory. I wanna walk in peace. I wanna walk in love. I wanna experience your justice. I wanna experience your power. I want the ability to trample on serpents. I want to cast out demons. I want to lay hand on the sick. I want to fulfill my purpose. So I need more of you. 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 There's way too much of me still. There's way too much of me still. So impart into me this morning, Holy Spirit. Impart into me, Holy Spirit. I need an impartation. Impart into me, Holy Spirit. Show me how to get out of this cycle of quick fixes. I need something lasting. I need something sustaining. I need something that is going to go into me with the end. I don't want any, I don't want any more of the rush. I feel some of y'all this morning. I don't want any more of the rush. I don't want to be just rush, the rush, the rush, the adrenaline of it all. And then just to fall again. Daddy, I need your help. 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 I need you to overwhelm me. I need you to consume me. I need your all consuming fire. I need you. I need you to burn up anything in me that does not line up with your word. But I don't want another quick fix. I don't want another temporary fix. I don't want to say all the right things, pretend that I'm okay, and then go back into the same exact state that I was in before. So I need you to impart into me this morning. Holy Spirit, I need you to impart into me. I need wisdom. I need knowledge. I need fresh revelation. I need eyes to see. I need ears to hear. I need a tongue that will praise you for a lifetime. I need to put a guard over my mouth, Lord God. I need you to heal the hidden places of my heart, the broken places, the things that I haven't spoken to, to anyone else. I need you. I need you this morning. I need you to lift me up, daddy. I need you to lift me up. I need you to lift me up. I need to feel you. I need to experience you. I need you to know you see my face. 
I need to hear you, oh Lord, today. I need you to provide clarity and understanding and the wisdom and knowledge I need. I don't want to make my next move without you. I don't. I don't want to make my next move without you. I don't want to make another plan. I don't want to build a business. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to enter into another relationship without you. I don't want to go on my feelings anymore. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be moved. I don't. I'm done with the emotions. I'm done with being moved emotionally. I don't want to live like that anymore, daddy. I don't. I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in being fake anymore. I don't want to fake people out. I don't want to exalt myself above people. I don't want to exalt myself. I'm sick of being fake, daddy. God, I hear some of you saying that I'm sick of pretending that I'm okay. I'm not okay. I'm tired of telling people, okay. I'm tired of quoting verbiage and scriptures and making it seem like I'm all that when in all actuality and reality, I'm desperate for you. I need you to wet me up. I need you to fill my cup. I need you to overwhelm me. I need you to consume me with your love. I haven't been loved like I've needed to be loved and I need to feel your love. So Holy Spirit, impart into us today. Impart into us. Impart into us. Fill up our cup, 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 fill up our cup so we may drink. Fill up our cup so we may drink of you today, Daddy God. We need you, we need you. We come into a time and a season where we're through trying to fake you out because we know you see all and you understand all. And we know, we know you know, fill up our cup, Daddy God. We are thirsty. We are longing and thirsting for you. We are panting for you like the deer pants for water. We need you today. We need you, we need you today. I, right, right now, you ain't even got, like, not for anybody else. I'm asking for myself. Like, I'm asking for myself. I'm asking for myself. I'm asking, Daddy, I need you to fill me up so I can, so I can pour into someone else. But right now, I'm asking for myself. Fill me up. Let me feel your power. Let me feel your presence. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Holy Spirit. We need you today. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you today. My God, we need your guidance today. We need it. 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 We not. We not. We're not going to be able to suffer long without you. We need it. We're not going to be able to love right without you. We're not going to be able to think right without you. This morning, we're just emptying ourselves out before you, Lord God, and saying, fill our cup. In Jesus' name, amen. And fill our cup in Jesus' name. Like, just fill our cup in Jesus' name, amen. Let us be anchored in truth today. Let us be anchored in your truth and nothing else. My God, impart wisdom into us like never before. We, we I don't want to be ignorant I don't want to be ignorant of the enemy's devices. I want to see him coming so that I can respond accordingly and quickly, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for anchoring us in your truth right now in the name of Jesus. My God, that's good, Debbie. That's good. That's good. For we know a double-minded man or woman is unstable in all his ways. No more mixed emotions. None of that. None of that. We ain't got to live in that. We ain't got to walk in that. We just got to ask the Holy Spirit to impart in us, impart in me. Fill my cup. I don't want another day of the usual. I want to experience the more of God. I want to experience God in all his ways. I want to experience the miracles, the signs, the wonders. I want to walk in total and complete health. I want to walk in a renewed mind. I want to walk in the fullness of God. I want to experience the justice of God. I want to experience the peace of God that passes all understanding. And the only way that I'm going to get to this point, Lord God, is that you fill my cup, <laughs> that you fill my cup till it overflows. You open up the windows of heaven and part of us and you pour your spirit out upon my flesh. So I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, help me die to my flesh today. Help me die to my flesh today. Strengthen me in my weak places. 
There are places in me I ain't even talked about that were weak. Strengthen me in my weak places. There are places in me I didn't even realize I needed more of you. So strengthen me in my weak places so that I won't return to my vomit. So that I can break the cycles. So I'm, t I'm sick of I'm sick of going back and eating on those things. I, you gotta say that sometime. I'm sick of going back to them same places. I'm sick of eating on my vomit. I'm sick of going back to things that pr don't produce results. I'm sick of being and entertaining and going back to relationships that don't glorify you. I'm sick of holding on to friendships just. Just for the sake of, I'm tired of that, daddy. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I, I want to release those. You got to talk to him. You got to talk real, real. I want to release those relationships today. I want to release those situations that I know that don't glorify you. And then ask him, say, Lord, give me a healthy self-image of myself. Don't let me walk in a false sense of humility. Let me see me the way you see me. Let me be anchored in your truth. Let me experience your justice for all that has been wronged against me, Lord God. Fill my cup, Daddy God. Fill my cup, fill my cup, for you are my reasonable portion. In Jesus' name, give me my daily bread. Wet me up, daddy. Wet me up. Wet me up. Wet me up. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. We all got weak places. So you got to ask him to fill you, help you, strengthen you in your weak. We all, we all, Paul said, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. We all got weak places. We all got stuff we fight. We all got stuff. All, all of us have stuff in places where we need to be strengthened. There is none that's just right, just mm -mm. All of us have places to be strengthened and that we need. If we didn't, we wouldn't have a need for Jesus. We wouldn't have a need for Jesus. If we didn't have places where we need to be strengthened, then go on and go on to glory. Just go home, right? Just go ahead and go home. We all got places where we need more Jesus. We all got places where we need more of the Holy Spirit. We got all got places where we need more impartation. That's why you got to come before him empty. Shayoro. <laughs> right? Empty, empty. You got to come before him empty. You, you got to come before him broken. You got to come before him humble. And then when you leave his presence, you got to be obedient with everything he says. Well, you just, let's just give a minute to the Holy Spirit and whatever he speaks into your spirit, if it's a scripture, if it's one word, if you don't hear him say nothing, let's just be quiet for just one minute and give just a few seconds to the Holy Spirit and let him fill your cup. Strength, strength. I hear you say strength, O oh Lord, that you will give strength to our weakened places. My God, my God, my God, I hear you, Lord. Strength. That you will give us strength, the strength, the strength, strength to our weak places. My God, my God, I thank you. I thank you for strength to our weak places. Strength to our weak places. My God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 That you will give us strength to our weak places. Lord God, now fill our cup. My God, I thank you. My God, thank you, 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 thank you. Jesus, be the fence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your all-consuming power. Thank you for doing a greater work in us. Thank you for giving us eyes to see and ears to hear, Lord God. We thank you. You are sovereign. We thank you. You are just. We thank you. You are true. We thank you, Father God. We thank you. My God, I thank you. I bless you. I praise you. I magnify you. I thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your glory. 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 Thank you, Father. Mm. 
there is an unusual anointing on this devotional. This isn't devotional as usual this morning. There is a an unusual anointing on the devotional. So just rest in it. Rest, rest, rest in it. You cannot always be business as usual with God. And sometimes we'll try to be business as usual. And there's an unusual anointing. And I feel the power of God strengthening us in our weak places right now. He is building us up. Everything that the devourer has tried to take in, take from us, those things, places in which you've had continuous, I feel his strength. I feel his strength. I feel his strength. I feel his strength. Lord God, I thank you. 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 My God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you. 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 I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Now, will you just lift up a praise to him? Father God, we thank you. We bless you. For we are in your presence in the high courts. And we know you are judging in our favor. And we thank you, Father God, for breaking cycles off our life this morning. Breaking cycles. We will not return to our vomit. We will not. We will not. We thank you for breaking cycles off of our life, Lord God. For your resurrection power. For bringing us more into the fullness of who you called us to be. My God, I thank you. 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 We lift up holy hands, Lord God. We lift up holy hands. We thank you for peace. Mm. We thank you, Father God, for dealing with the unauthorized advancements of the enemy. He is no longer authorized here. He is unauthorized. And you are taking back territory on our behalf. And we receive that right now by faith. He can no longer encroach in our lives. He can no longer have access to our souls. We bind up those weak places and we thank you, Lord God that they are being strengthened in your blood. We thank you. We thank you for your unusual presence today. We thank you for unusual manifestations, Father God. My God, I thank you. 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 My God, I bless you. My God, I praise you. I thank you, Father God. I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving them just what they need. My God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. I thank you, I thank you, Father God. Can I pray for your healing? Can I pray for your healing? I'm going to pray for your healing. But first of all, I need to extend the opportunity for Jesus right now. Like if you want, if you're tired of cyclic, if you're tired of cycles and behavior in your life, the only way that I was able to break those cycles was more of Jesus. Like I had to really accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That was the only way that I was able to break cycles. So I need to be obedient to God because I'm pretty sure that you didn't understand that your cycles, the reason your cycles were keeping like you were repetitive was because you didn't really have Jesus in your life. Like you really hadn't made him Lord and Savior. And the only way I was ever able to get out of the cycles, to keep from going back into the same circles, to keep from uh, returning to vomit, to keep from being in them shameful places, to keep from being caught up in my sin. I did, I could not break it in my own strength. I could not, 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 I could not. And so the only way I was able to come out of my shameful, sinful places, and I'm telling y'all, I was in some shameful, sinful places. This stuff that I've done that I can't even talk about. I can't breathe. It's some stuff that I've done. Can, I, can you hear me in this? It's some stuff that I've done that I can't even talk about. It's some stuff that I've done that I've only been able to really have a conversation with the Lord about. And so I need to right now in this very pure place where there's an unusual anointing, extend the opportunity for you to make Jesus Christ and Lord and Savior. If you falling back, falling, get back up. <laughs> Man, confess, confess. This is your time to repent and just, you know what? I am a sinner, Lord. I'm a sinner. 
But I believe if you had Lakeisha, I believe if you took care of Lakeisha, I believe if you said, say, saved Lakeisha, I believe that if you died on the cross for her, then guess what? You can die, you die for me too. I might not understand it all, but I'm confessing you to become Lord and Savior in my life right now in Jesus' name. Now, Holy Spirit, I need your help. This is new for me. I need your help. I ain't never did this before. I don't know how to yield to God. Nobody properly ever told me. Holy Spirit, I need you to come inside and help me. In Jesus' name, amen. Like, it's that simple. The devil will make you try to think it's so complicated. It's that simple. That's the very first step. And then we just need to get you water baptized. <laughs> We need to get you discipled and in a good church and connected to this ministry or connected to another ministry where you can be properly discipled. Now, I want to pray for your health and healing. I, I know the Savior. I know why he died for us. And my position will be healing to the day I die. Isaiah 53 and 5 said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are made whole. So right now I speak to every fiber, every tissue, and every cell in your body, and I command it to be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Arthritis, you cannot dwell here anymore. Whoever it is that's been suffering from arthritis, we cancel the assignment of rheumatoid arthritis. We cancel the assignment of juvenile arthritis off your life. Arthritis cannot exist here anymore. We bind you back to the pits of hell from which you came. Diabetes, you're no longer allowed to exist here. I thank you for normal A1C levels. I thank you, Father God, that every fiber, every tissue and cell responds to the word of God today. Father, you said all we need is a little bit of faith, like the faith of a mustard seed. There's so much power and that we could speak to the mountains and the mountains be removed from our life. So this mountain of diabetes that's been coming against the health, the health of your children, our health in this nation, our health in our city, we could juvenile diabetes, we could cast it back to the pits of hell. We cast arthritis back to the pits of hell. For you were already bruised for our iniquities. You were already chastised for our peace. My God, we thank you for healthy lungs. We thank you you are killing, clearing out Father God, and killing the bacteria, my God, there will not be bacteria in our lungs, Lord God. I thank you for healthy lungs, and I thank you for the mind of Christ, and I thank you for the peace of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for all power. Yeah, you can take mental health, man. My God, declare your mental health. Every fiber, when we say I, every fiber, when we say every tissue, when we say every cell, you gotta, you better start covering. I'm talking about from your hair follicles to the tip of your toenails. I don't care if you need toenails to grow back. If Jesus, if you were born with toenails and you don't have toenails now, you need to start speaking to your toenails. If you've lost teeth, you need to start speaking to your teeth. He is a wonder working God. Like he is a wonder working God. There is not anything that God cannot do for you. If it's a mental health, speak to your mental health. If your mind is all over, and when I say every fiber, every tissue, every cell, that is everything in your body has to align with the word of God. And that has to be your stance that you are healer, period. And that you can receive that by faith in Jesus name. Amen. My God, I thank you for revelation knowledge. I thank you for this unusual. This is an unusual, just an unusual devotional. And then spend more time in your word. There was an unusual presence of the Holy Spirit. And if you receive it by faith, then you'll experience the healing health and wholeness of God. I never, I never, that's how I know. Uh, I, that's how I know for a fact we are the church 
and we are not limited to a church building. And if we stay stuck in that, we will miss receiving the power of God active in our life wherever we go. That mean that doesn't mean we're not we don't forsake the assembly. We're assembling now. But God has been teaching us so much in this season that we are the church and that he will dwell in our presence. He will dwell in our presence. He will dwell where we are in the midst. He will dwell where the true worshipers exist. We are the, we've been, I know for a fact, we've had way too much emphasis on the building. We've had way too much emphasis like on the pastor. Like we've had way too much emphasis on the people we've been connected to. We've had way too much emphasis on that. And God is proving to us, like he is proving to us, like right now here on this devotional, that his power, that his ability, that his strength, that all of that dwells with us and in us and among us, as long as we set our face upon him, as long as we yearn for him, as long as we desire him, we, I mean, we've been, we're experiencing that like right now. Now that doesn't mean you don't go to church, but I know for a fact, God continuously is dis- demonstrating to us that we are the church. Not, not that, mm-mm. My, I, whatever you're going to do in this season, daddy, do it, 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 but don't do it without me. The we don't do it. We are the church. We are the church. We are the church. And upon this church, he'll build his rock, which will be sustaining. My God, I thank you for that power. And I thank you for the witness of the Holy Spirit. And we got to stand steadfast in that. Like we got to walk in the truth. We got to walk in the anointing. We've been relying on the building for way too long like the building it wasn't the building we're the tabernacle we're the tabernacle we're the place we're the tabernacle we're he desires to inhabit the praises of his people right he longs to satisfy our thirst he does he does he longs to wet us up my god i was in target um Friday getting groceries and I just started being consumed with the Holy Spirit. Like I started being consumed with the Holy Spirit. Like I I was so like I was in target and the spirit just came up on me. Not a little bit, like a lot. And so I was trying to pack my groceries and put them in the thing and my knee was shaking and tears were in my eyes. And I was just praising God, packing my bags, praising God, (laughs) packing my bags. I was saying, Lord, just let me get out this store. Lord, just let me get out this store. I just became, and I, and I was walking down the aisle. And as I was walking, Walking down the aisle, I just started getting consumed by him. And I just started thanking him. And I just started praising him. And I'm talking about I'm in Target. By the time I get to the register, I'm scanning and I'm just becoming more and more and more and more aware of his presence, right? And I'm putting my groceries in the bag and I'm thanking him for groceries and I'm thanking him he's providing and I'm just becoming consumed. Like I could feel the power of him in Target, in Target. And I'm stacking my groceries and I'm getting them in and I'm checking out and I can barely speak and I'm walking to my car and the boys were in the car. And so by the time I get to the car, Judah was like, mama, you okay? Like it's something wrong, but I was so consumed with him. Like I was so consumed, like consumed. I was so consumed with him and I just had tears coming and they were like, did something happen? And I just could not even speak. So I was loading the groceries and I just got in the car and I was just overwhelmed. He desires to inhabit us. It ain't gotta be in no church. It ain't gotta be and just your living room. He's desiring to inhabit the praises of his people. He desires that he's looking for those. And we we just relinquished it over to a building. Like we relinquished it over to a building. And I felt that. Like I felt that consume. Like I felt that consume, right? I felt that consume me, right? I felt that consuming and I was like my god this is so 
powerful. This is like powerful. This is beyond anything that I could imagine, right? My God, Psalms 22 and three is, is where it says that, but he, but thou art holy. O oh, thou inhabit the praise of Israel, or you inhabit the praise of your people, or you inhabit the praise of Lakeisha. And I'm telling you that one moment with God and Target, it just like changed my life. It set me afire to know and understand how he's longing to wet us up and how he's longing to consume us and how he's been looking for our attention. And we've had our attention divided in so many places. And God is like, I've been, I've been longing to have these encounters and these moments with you. Now, will y'all experience them with me on the devotional, in your living room, on a phone call, in a conversation with friends? Like I've been longing to have these moments with you. Like I, I need this. Like I've been longing to have these moments with you. And I'm like, my God, I thank you for these moments, right? I, I, my God, I thank you for these moments. He's trying to make his presence known. Absolutely. Everyone, most of us, because of protocol or because we're only used to experiencing these places at church, or we think that it has to be one particular thing. No, he's longing to have these moments. He's longing to, for us to experience, he's looking to do unusual things in our life. Will you just lift your hands up one more time and say, Lord, fill me up. Fill me up, fill my cup, fill me up. Father God, I've been so thirsty. I long to drink more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. As, can I tell you something? After this devotional, some of you are going to become so thirsty for God. Like you're going to, after this encounter on this devotional, some of you are going to become so thirsty for God. You're going to hunger. You're going to thirst. Nothing else is going to be able to satisfy you but God. No person, no circumstance, no situation. Some of you are going to press into the presence of God after this devotional today. You're going to press in his presence like never before. And you're going to begin to experience him like never before because you asked him to fill your cup, right? You asked him, Lord God, fill me up, fill, fill me up, fill me up, fill me, fill me up till I overflow because you asked him to fill you up. Daddy God is going to do just that today. I'm telling you, this was an unusual moment with God. This was an unusual moment. We were in the high courts. And, and I want to talk to you about more about the high courts. I just can't right now. Like, I can't. But there are the high courts. And we were in the high courts today. And God heard your praise. And he heard your prayers. And he saw your sacrifice. And there is a justice of God and he will render in your favor. I promise. I know him. I know him. I know him. I know him. We were in his high courts. We were in his high courts. We've been in his high courts all morning. So we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to enter into your courts. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We long, we thank you. Psalms 104 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name for the Lord is good and his loving devotion endures forever and his faithfulness continues to all generations. My God, my God, I can't, I, I can't thank you, Holy Spirit. I just declare and decree that all soul ties that have been rendering you loose, useless. I don't, whatever you've been entangled with it, shit, I can't enter. Whatever you've been entangled with, whatever's been rendering you useless, whatever's been holding you down, I just declare and decree right now that it's broken off your life. Depression, you must go, my God. You gotta go. You cannot dwell here amongst your people, amongst God's people anymore. Depression, you must go right now in Jesus' name. 
I just decree and declare every soul tie, everything that's had you bound, that's been rendering you useless, that's been holding you, that's been anchoring you, that's been keeping you from advancing. I just decree and decree and declare right now that that stronghold, I don't care if it was lust. I don't care if it was sex. I don't care if it's drugs. I don't care if it's pornography. There is nothing bigger than God and Jesus. And I just render it helpless against you. It will no longer be able to advance. I feel it breaking right now break it up Jesus I feel it breaking right now I feel the strongholds being broken right now now you lose them release them and let them go Father God we surrender to you right now we surrender everything on your altar this morning we surrender to you right now no more business as usual we, we thank you Lord God we surrender our broken places to you right now my God my God my God my God, we surrender our broken places to you right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. My God, we surrender them to you. Every demonic principality, every stronghold, everything that has been exalting, every wicked imagination, everything that has been exalting itself, Above you, Lord God, we tear down those strongholds and we take our freedom by faith. It is not a feeling. We take our freedom by faith. We receive your holiness, Father. We receive your holiness, Father. We receive your holiness, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. My God, cast down every wicked imagination. Every wicked imagination. Every wicked imagination. Every wicked imagination, every imagination, anything that exalts itself against casting down every wicked imagination. That's 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, casting down imaginations, high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ, every Everything wicked, everything that does not align with you, Lord God. Every thought into captivity, Lord God. Everything that keeps trying to exalt itself against your call on my life, your purpose on my life, your provision for my life, your wisdom for my life, your knowledge for my life, your understanding for my life, Lord God. We're bringing it down in the name of Jesus. We are bringing it down in the name of Jesus. Anything that exalts itself, any pride, anything that comes above you, Lord God, anything that's been resisting you, Lord God, anything that's been standing in my way, we're casting it down right now. Anything that comes against the knowledge of who you are, every evil thought, every wicked thought, Lord God. We tear down every argument in our head. My God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Everything, everything against our life in the name of Jesus. My God, we thank you. 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 Every demonic influence, every principality, we bind you back to the pits of hell from which it came. And we thank you, Father God. We declare freedom right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 thank you. Jesus, give us your holiness. Jesus, give us your holiness. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We magnify you. Fill us up to there is nothing left. Fill us up to there is nothing left. Fill us up. So there is nothing left. My God, I thank you. I bless you. I praise you. I glorify you. I lift up holy hands. Let us be sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Let us be sensitive to your Holy Spirit today. Let us be sensitive, Father. Let us be more mindful of you. Let us be mindful. Let us be mindful. Let us be sensitive, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your holiness. We thank you for justice. We thank you, Father God to be anchored in truth. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you. We thank you for being so intentional with us this morning, Lord God. We thank you for how intentional you are with us this morning, Lord God, that you have not left anything uncovered, Lord God. And we just surrender ourselves and anchor ourselves in you. We thank you for the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, we thank you. You rest, rule, and abide in us now and forevermore. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you that justice is being served. 
We thank you. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No demon, no devil in hell shall come near our dwelling. We thank you for our holy place. We thank you for teaching us to dwell in the secret place. My God, my God, I thank you. I thank you, my thank you, I 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 thank you. My God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Fill us up, my God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Fill us up, fill us up, fill us up. Fill our cup, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you, my God. We honor you this morning, Lord God. We honor you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you labor before us. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you, Lord God. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. My God, I thank you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. 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 Anything that renders us useless, my God, we thank you. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. We thank you for liberation. We thank you for freedom that can only come in Christ Jesus, my God. We thank you for the experience of the Holy Spirit. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way. Rinse us. Rinse us out. Like I, I feel like we in the rinse cycle. I feel like we in the rinse cycle. I can smell and feel like the aroma of God, right? Like he washed us and now he's rinsing us and he's cleansing us and he's making us new, right? And fabric softener. I can feel and smell the fragrance of God. My God, I thank you. 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 Thank you for washing us in the blood. Thank you for deeming us righteous. My God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My God, thank you to the high priest. Thank you to the high priest, Jesus. Thank you to the high priest, Jesus. Thank you to the high priest, Jesus. Thank you to the high priest Jesus. Thank you to the high priest Jesus, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the wisdom of God. Thank you for the knowledge of God, my God. When God fills your cup up, like he gives you everything you need. That's what it means. Like he's giving you impartation of the Holy Spirit. He's giving you wisdom you need. He'll give you the peace you need. He'll give you the love you need. He'll give you the joy you need. When you're asking him to fill your cup, that's what he's doing. You're being consumed in his presence. And I heard God when he said we were in the high courts this morning. Like I heard him when he said we're in the high courts this morning. So I hope you receive and I hope you receive impartation. And even as this devotional ends, it is just my prayer that you just bask in his presence that you don't, this is me. This isn't God saying this. I'm telling you don't rush into the next thing. I'm saying to you, don't rush away from this moment to just go do what's next. Some of you might have to fall on your face before God and worship him, worship him after this over just to seal the deal, just so that you can receive what daddy God has done for you today. Let's seal it up in the blood. Let's seal it up in praise. Let's seal it up in this moment because this was all God this morning. Like this was all God. This was God. This was God. This was how he act. This is how he does. This is how he thinks of us. This is the justice of God. This is the love of God. This is the grace of God. This is the mercy of God, my God. And if this is your first time on this devotional, we would love for you to stay connected to us. Just go to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com and get subscribed so you can get our daily devotional, our daily emails. Go to the YouTube channel. Come back and visit us again. Like if we got any first time visitors, <laughs> if we got any first time visitors, we just welcome you to, to visit us again. Like we just welcome you to be with us again. God was so real. This was just all God this morning. This was all God this morning. This was all God this morning. And I received the fullness of what God did for us this morning. Like I received that in my own life. I'm partake. He spoke some things to me. He spoke some things to him, to me, and I just wrote down what he said to me. I just wrote down and I just received that by faith. Take your first 91 this morning. 
After this, take communion. God said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Some of you may need to take communion after this. Like, take communion. Be like, you know what? I'm going to commune with you. I'm going to take communion with you, Daddy God. I'm going to sign this day off. Some of you may need to date this day. Like, date this. Date the significance of this day in your life. You felt the Holy Spirit. You felt the presence. It, it, the evidence some of you evidence of the tongues is rolling out of you my god if you've received your tongues today mark this day down ask the holy spirit to fill you up with the presence and the evidence of speaking in tongues right now lord god i want to speak in tongues ask him for that if you ask him for that he'll give you that right nisi can you drop that on facebook for as me for well will you please drop that on facebook as well thank you thank you thank you just fill our cup lord god fill our cup fill our cup fill our cup fill our cup like fill our cup today lord god yeah it is kim this is so special like this is so this was so unique this is just what god does like this is how we're supposed to experience god he just keeps saying y'all the church we the church this is how we're supposed to experience his holiness and i just thank him for this i thank you for this moment i just thank you for your presence i thank you you have not let us lack of nothing father god and i just thank you for that thank you for your holiness thank you lord god thank you thank you thank you send us an email info at just being lmj.com contact contact us on the website we would love to pray for you we would love we would love to pray for you we thank you for that we thank you father god we thank you we thank you we thank you subscribe to the website all of that we thank you we thank you we thank you just for who you are we thank you for your presence Consider becoming a partner with this ministry. Um, you, there are several ways you can partner with this ministry. You can partner with this ministry through, through PayPal, through Cash App. You can become a monthly partner. Go find out more about this ministry. We're a full service ministry. We're ministry in action. We would love to get to know you better.